Hallelujah. Let's lift up our hands and appreciate God. Give him praise, give him glory, give him adoration. I can hear your voice. Father, Lord, thank you. I appreciate you. I glorify you. I exalt you. I bless your holy name. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for gathering us at your feet. Your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we have given him thanks. Heavenly Father, once again, we want to say thank you. As a nation, we say thank you. Thank you for your peace that reign and the edge of protection you have built over this nation. Thank you for keeping us strong, safe, and healthy. Thank you, Lord, for disappointing the enterprise of Corona. Thank you for keeping our children, our entire family, and the works of our hand. And Lord, we bless your name for the opportunity to fellowship with you today. Let today mark a turn around. He said, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Let everyone that is in hand of the enemy, let there be an automatic deliverance. Let captivity be broken. Whatever have chained you down, let the anointing of today's service rescue your destiny out of your capture. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say the entrance of his word giveth light. Cause everyone to have light. And by that light, let them begin to enjoy dominion. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. We thank God for that powerful testimony. Amen. Favor, we open the door. Character, we sustain it. And skill, we grow it. Favor, we open the door. Character, we sustain the door. And, faith and skill, we grow the door. Praise God. What a beautiful testimony. What a beautiful testimony. I'd like every one of us to look inward this morning. There was a, a, a revelation I had last week that truly you don't grow when things are comfortable. You grow when there is difficulties. True growth always come when there are challenges. You don't grow when things are comfortable, when things are palacious, that is not likely to be your growing time. You grow when there are challenges, when there are challenges. And therefore, a time of challenge is a time of growth. Amen. A time of challenge is a time of growth. So it depends on what you make out of your challenges. You either decide to grow or you groan. You either make up your mind to do what? To grow or you groan. You are still within the letter G. A time of challenge, there are two options. And all options are possibility. You either hands off and groan. Or you roll up your sleeve and grow. I wish you understand what I wait on. The lifestyle that I wait on. Because scripture cannot be broken. It says, yes, thou a man that stand, that is diligent in his business. It said, that man shall stand before king and not mean men. Whom you are standing for go a long way to influence where you arrive. Seest thou a man or a woman that is diligent in her business? He said, that man, we stand before kings and not mean men. A time, don't forget, I'm almost through with the first message. A time of, of challenges is a time for growth. And there are two options. You either grow or you groan. You keep on going around and telling people and announcing the difficulties or you ride on the wings of the eagle and rise above the storm. The options are yours and the two options are possibility. 
praise God. I said, praise God. I want us to put our hands together for that great thing that the Lord has done for her. Amen. 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 Praise God. But I want you to see the combination of our testimony. It's a big lesson for us to learn. She took the little thing that she had. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, too sure. But I can tell, Mama had very little admiration for fried things. She's a woman that God has blessed. He has control over her appetite. I can't remember when she used sugar last, for example. So mama is not a fan of fried things. So mama doesn't need that whatever she was doing. But it was a covenant that you always seek the blessing of your leader. Amen. The leader are not just there to collect your tithes. No, to collect your offering. That is your obligation to the ministry, but the, the, the leaders also have oblig, uh, a responsibility to you. We are to bless the work of your hand. So she obeyed and took, whether mama likes it or not, she took it there. I kept on telling you, the first offering I gave to a man of God was 50 cents. 10, 10 naira. I will never forget. And the man was driving a Pidgeot 504, so he doesn't need my money. And I'm not sure there was a level of scale of wealth for that amount that time. So my money has nothing to do with him. It doesn't make sense, but it made covenant. She took it there and it was blessed. And in the process of blessing, the servant of God had, and I remember mama told me, this is what I told Anne. I was led to tell her, start going to people's houses. If Monte doesn't come to meet Muhammad, Muhammad should go and meet the Monte. You don't even need shop these days we are in. One of my cousins yesterday called me and said, I need a shop, I need to start business. I said, no, start from home. Combine the rent. Remove the bed. Somebody said, I'm in one bedroom. Remove it in the morning. I'm turning it to a, a factory. In the night, remove the factory and put the bed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Is that not a good wisdom? It is until now that we have church office. Most of the churches have pastored. My house is the office. Praise God. When I was my, in my house, praise God. BCI started in my garage. Praise God. So stop wasting your money. Some of you, what you are selling, does not require you have a shop. It just have a requirement that you have a network. So you reduce the rent instead of laboring hard for the landlord. Praise God. Anyway, that is a teaching for another morning glory. Amen. So she went. I want to follow this testimony. And then she hearkened to the voice of the Lord, his God, and it was established. And she hearkened also to the voice of his prophet. And she went on the strength. And they said, Elijah went on the strength of that meal. And he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed." From the mouth of the Lord. See what it has bad for her. Connection to connection. Connect. I know where she's talking about. Con Vipingo Ridge, I know it A to Z. To get a spot there, you need from 25,000 US dollar. Because I remember when it started, I was there. It was 5,000. But now it's around 25,000 to get a plot. Praise God. I said, praise God. So I want you to learn. When you hear testimony, the other day I was told one of our brethren was corn in an M-Pesa shop. Uh, and, I, and I was very mad with the family because Josephine shared a testimony here. How somebody called her. I don't know how many of you remember. Because some of you don't listen. You think there are stories. And then you can see the message I've preached from her, from her testimony. That me, I was keenly listening and connecting the dot of scripture what God was doing. Always listen to testimony. It has physical knowledge and it has spiritual knowledge. Josephine said how somebody was telling her, dial this, dial that, dial this, dial that. And now all of a sudden he told herself, no, this is not correct. I'm responding to instruction from whom I don't know. And she stopped. Another person just fell victim two weeks ago. And over 180,000 went. Somebody you don't know. Say Safaricom is talking to you from her phone. 
from his own phone. He sent Safari call. He sent hundred shillings and said he has not gotten it. From what I was told, he came to the shop and said, "Please uh, deposit. Is it deposit hundred shillings for me? I don't know how they do them." And then she, she said, "Well, I've done it." The first thing came back and said, "No, I've not seen the 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 hundred uh, the hundred shillings." So please call Safaricom. And then why she still trying to call? Then the person came back and said, "I've called Safaricom." And you see, he has saved the name, even if the number is Juguna, he has saved it as Safaricom. Please be wise, church. Why is the Holy Spirit? I say Safaricom is talking to you, and it's just another person he called somewhere. And then they begin to tell her, do this, do that, do this, star, what, Safaricom. <laughs> By the time he realized, over 180,000 is gone. If you have listened to the testimony of this lady, he said the Holy Ghost shall put you into remembrance. When people go out there to talk, that is the message number one. In fact, that one are more serious than my own. You know why? Those are workout examples that has produced the result. My own, you are hearing it by faith. Praise God. That's why the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their, not God, the word of their testimony. Praise God. I said, praise God. So we thank God for that powerful testimony. And this money is a prophetic money. It will happen to you. God will send destiny helper Amen. to prophesy into your life. Amen. God will give you heart to key into the prophecy. Amen. And God will begin to connect you. Amen. God will show you what to do. Amen. There is always what to do. He says she put all her pictures and put it on her Facebook. I keep on saying to you, if Facebook is not bringing money to you, you are a fool being there. I need to get you angry. This one that you have taken, you have taken. Take. If it's not bringing money to your table, you are a fool. You are what? Say it louder so that you can get angry. Say it one more time. You are a big fool if Facebook is not bringing money and you are there. It's a devourer. You are buying airtime. You are wasting your precious time. You are commenting on others and no commendation on your life. I was begging my daughter the other day. The lad, I said, now that you finish school, can you be on Facebook? He said, I don't think so. I said, good. Because you don't have a business being there. And you say Instagram, what, what. All the one you see, the, where is the name road? And they are the problem. When you see Wally Joseph on his, they are the one. I'm not there. If it's actually they should put their photos. Anything that is taking your time that is not bringing return. There is a music in Nigeria. Time now money, oh. Time now money. <laughs> Anything that is taking your time and is not returning with money is a devourer of your life. What are you doing? Put it on your Facebook. I don't say don't have Facebook account, but let it be economically viable on your destiny. Is somebody hearing me right now? Is somebody hearing me right now? I, I make money on Facebook, Breakthrough Chapel. Amen. I get offering from Nigeria. I get offering from U.S. I finish money glory sometime from U.S. Money will just come. I get from Kenya. Please don't waste your time. She put everything and then post it. And then God took advantage. God can use anything, including your Facebook account, when you are using it correctly, lining it up with your destiny. Not posting like a cricket. So one girl posts all manner of, posts to him. I said, you cease to be my friend. If this is what you want to use this place for. You know, there is a power to, to unfriend. I said, Papa, you unfriend me. I said, those kind of your posture is not allowed. I have a follower. Those ones that you leave your breasts open, that is not the business I'm doing. So take them off. Praise God. 
I said, praise God. Tell your neighbor, stop posting like a cricket. Everywhere you are, everybody must know. At Diana Bridge, at the what? At Java. <laughs> the Lord is on your side. Anyway, so let us believe God to package ourselves well. Those of you criticize me for preaching for you to have a car. Are you hearing? The Pingo, if you get contract there, even if you are a builder of house, the first thing they will ask you, do you have vehicle that move your staff? If you buy a plot that you want to start building, that's the question they will ask you. Do you have vehicle that will move your staff in and out? If you don't have, they will not accept you. And that is a practice in the in US and most developed country where there are massive land, where the, there are EP said or kind of building. Nobody allow you to be working. So you better believe God for car. Stop getting angry with those of us who are driving. What you hate, you will never attract. <laughs> if she doesn't have car, that door is closed. Amen. How many of you want a car? You see, you are even taking time before you raise your <laughs> You need that car. You need that car. You need that. I, I've learned so many. When I'm teaching you something, just believe it. You need that car. Amen. Your heavenly father knows that you have a need of these things. Amen. Stop pretending. When I drive, there's one small red car. When I drive that car, my tattoo don't respect me. Nobody respect me. Tuk Tuk will jump anyhow. But when I'm inside Prado, they give way. <laughs> they give way. Even police. Several times I've been going home. They will stop small car in the night. But when I'm going home, nobody stopped me because they don't know whether it's Mushimewa inside. <laughs> <laughs> Please go ask Yogora during this COVID. He has taken, uh, have, have a need of assignment. My car has gone to Nairobi twice. My, my, my Prado has gone one. The red car has gone one. He was stopped with the red car more than the Prado. If there is no need for prosperity, Jesus will have died inside manger. But he died in upper house. You may begin at manger, but don't end your journey in manger. The Lord will see you through. I say, Jesus will see you through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, quickly open your Bible to... I have three things to do. I've done one. Quickly open your Bible to John chapter 19. The church of Jesus Christ here is marching forward. And we are devising different strategy to do different things. Praise God. To keep on doing the same, the same way is a sign of what? Insanity, especially when you expect a new result. So please, in case uh, 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 Pastor Jones and his team at the query, in case they call you, they have my express permission to call you. Praise God. I want to clear the air. Don't, don't be pinned. Be, don't, don't get angry with them. It's a new strategy through which we want to run the ministry. Praise God. It will make our project noiseless. It will make it to be void of grudges. It will actually make people who participate to be blessed of the law. I want you to turn your Bible to to John chapter 19. We, are, we begin to run the project of the ministry on a platform we call the Joshua, uh, the Joseph Company. The what? The Joseph Company. Everybody say Joseph Company. Say it one more time. Shout it louder. All right. John chapter 19 and verse number 38. Mark it in your Bible. So in case uh, Pastor Jones call you or at any time other group of people call you, whether they are men or women, they have expressed permission of the ministry to call you on your phone or to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Look at what he says. He says, and after this, Joseph of Aramathia, being a disciple of Jesus, 
but secretly for fear of the Jew, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. That word leave mean permission. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And there came also Nicodemus, which at first came to Jesus by night and brought a mixture of myas and aloe, about a hundred pounds weight. Then took they the body of Jesus and want it in a linen clothes. Peter doesn't know how to do that. And bound him, another translation, and bound him in a linen cloth with spies as the manner of the Jew is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden. And in the garden, a new sepulcher which was never man yet lay. There lay the Jesus, therefore, because of the due preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. The body of Christ is still being buried daily in every ministry. The thing needed for the body of Christ are still plenty in every ministry. And that is why we are embarking on this in order to reduce pressure, persecutions, and also giving room to those who are not in the church. And stop giving room to those who are not part of the faith to persecute the church. Praise the Lord. Today, many unbelievers believe church is a place where they collect people's money. But the Bible also tells us that we should try as much as possible to make ourselves acceptable to those who are in and those who are out. Praise God. I said praise God. So in case you are called, you have my permission to be called on any project at any time. And as God bless you, participate in it. Praise the Lord. Can I hear your amen? amen. Participate in it joyfully without any grudges. Uh, we don't want to see everything in the open anymore. Praise God. I said praise God. If you look at this account, only two people bury the body of Jesus. Only two people. And I will be praying for you today that you will get to the level whereby we call on only you and you bury that body that is on the ground. Amen. Can I hear your louder amen? amen? Can I hear your louder amen? amen. Can I hear your louder amen? amen? One day I was in Nairobi and uh, the place was to, you know, it was just Tarazo and we needed carpet for the whole church. And somebody have just blessed me some, with some money. So as I was taking the offering, I look at how people were responding. So I was angry. So I told all of them, please go and sit down. I will buy the whole carpet. The money was there. And I gave, uh, somebody just gave me, and it's exactly, I think I only added 20,000 to whatever they needed from my pocket plus what the man gave. A time is coming, you alone. You alone. Tell your neighbor, I alone. I alone. Say it one more time. I alone. Say it one more time. I alone. You will take up a project of a ministry. Amen. Can I hear you louder? Amen. Amen. You alone. You alone. You are, let's stop this. Some of this noise we make. Let everybody stand up. And at the end of the day, they stand up, give money, and but they go out and speak volume of words that kill the seed, that never allow the seed to die. And seed must die. Praise God. I said, praise God. It is ongoing right now in line with what I'm sharing with you. Winners Chapel planted 10,000 churches last year 
over, over 10,000 churches last year. And those churches, there were members who built, that is built a full church, more than five, more than ten. One member. The same way you are able to buy bread for your family, God will take you up. Amen. Can I hear you louder? Amen. amen. The same way you are able to afford bread for your family. A time is coming, you will look at a ministry. You will not even be where you are going. Maybe you are traveling and you see a church. I, I always have that aspiration. When I pass on the road, I see some churches. I say, God, get me to that level where I will come back on a trip. And then I go back again and tell the elder, how much does it cost to build this church complete? God is taking us there. Amen. Let me hear your louder amen. amen. Somebody say, how will I get there? Just start from your 10 shillings. It's a journey. It is an adventure. You never arrive at the end. Praise God. From where you are. So when they call you, please respond to them favorably. God bless you. I think I've clear air for that. And so you don't say, I don't know why Jones is ever calling me. No, we're calling you to be part of an army. We're calling you to be part of people who will bury, who will act the same way Joseph Aramathia and Nicodemus. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. I hope you have understand now. So don't make noise when they call you. Because the past one you made noise, it was still done. So take advantage. Every time opportunity present itself. Take what? Advantage. Every time opportunity present itself. Praise God. I said, praise God. This month, you will walk in an unlimited favor. You will enjoy the favor of God. Let your image be stronger. Amen. The favor of God will locate you. Amen. The favor of God will locate you. Amen. The favor of God will redeem you from struggling. Amen. The favor of God will open door that no man can shut. Amen. You will cease from your labor. Amen. You will enter into his favor. Amen. After today's service, mark my word. As you receive the word that I have for you today, the favor of God will bail you out of every predicament. Amen. That tenancy era of your life is over. Amen. The favor of God will build for you. Amen. The favor of God will bring your husband. Amen. You don't get married because you are beautiful or because you are handsome. There are people who are more handsome than us who are married. It was just the favor of God. And I pray today for all the single, online, wherever you are, in the actual service, the favor of God will locate you. Amen. I said the favor of God will locate you. Amen. The kind of houses you never imagine you will live in. The kind of relationship you never imagine you could have with God. God's favor will bring you to that level. Amen. I said God's favor will bring you to that unity. The kind of obedience you never imagine you could do, you could give to God's word. The favor of God will qualify you. Amen. By his favor, you will live long. Amen. I say you will live long. Amen. You will no longer be a victim. Amen. Things will begin to happen effortlessly. Effortlessly. Amen. God's favor is a terminator of labor. Amen. And here is it for you this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah on top of those prophecies. Hallelujah. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Things is not going to be as usual. Little effort, great reward. Little move, great accomplishment. Little move, great accomplishment. That is what God will do for you. In Jesus' precious name. And that is why it's good to bring this, this series of teaching your way. Because when we talk about some things in church, people get excited, but they don't really know what it means. I want to begin this series on the teaching on understanding the unlimited power of God's favor. Understanding the unlimited power of God's favor. Understanding the unlimited power of God's favor.
this month is loaded. Don't miss any service. Eh? That's my advice for you. It's heavily loaded. Connecting online, wherever you are, God has made it easier for us. If you are not present here, you can be present with your phone, wherever you are. Keep appointment with God unfailingly this month. Now, if you look at what we did last month, you will notice that I took my time to her depth of teaching on salvation and what accompanying salvation. I did a lot of that. You remember we started from Easter celebration? Yes, and we kept on, kept on. Read those notes very well so that they form the foundation of your thinking pattern. The foundation of what? Your thinking pattern. Your thinking pattern. Your thinking pattern. Your thought determine what you release. Your thought determine the action that you release. And your action define your destination. So we did a lot of teaching. And just to remind you again by recapitulating few of them. We saw how Jesus exchanged his life for our life. You remember John chapter 18 from verse 4 to 8. That should remain in your brain. Every time you see ugly situation, you tell that ugly situation. That day you didn't pick me. You picked Jesus. That day you didn't what? Because he's an agent of somebody. He's an agent of the devil. You tell him that day you were given opportunity to pick me. Oh, ye foul spirit of cancer. You were given absolute opportunity to pick me. You pick Jesus. Two people must not suffer for one punishment. He was punished. He was bruised. He was chastised. And therefore by his tribe, I am healed. Then the one behind the malfunctioning of that part of your head will cease. Because he knows the truth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And then we went further to see how our willpower has been restored back. Will Adam lost it in the garden when he decided to do what pleases him. And therefore he sinned against God. And then God dethroned him and took him out of the garden. And Jesus came in another garden called Garden of what? Gethsemane. And there he prayed the same prayer three times. Not my will, but thy will be done. So our will was restored when the blood, the, the sweat that were coming from that prayer was blood. Scientists confirm. Amen. It was blood. And then he atoned for our sin for losing our will and the will was restored. Praise God. I said praise God. How many of you understand that right now? Then we began to look at seven places where, uh, see the rest six places where his blood was shed. His blood was shed to heal the ground for you. When the nail is on, the works of your hand, the productivity that was configured to the hand of Adam, when he was asked to keep the garden and to dress it and to freely eat, God knew that his hand will produce. When they nailed the hand of Jesus, your hand was healed from unproductivity. Amen. Now, if you check the garden, the, the garden, Adam was driven out of the garden into the wilderness. And the wilderness, the ground there was caused. And they say, we bring thorns and tissues for him. When the blood of Jesus was dripping on the ground, he was healing the land. For without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. And when sins are forgiven, the consequence of the sin is also aborted. Praise the Lord. You saw all that, all that. You saw how you have dominion. How, you are, how do you stand before a man and the man is not shivering? He should be shivering, especially if he's a wicked person. Amen. You see, wherever the soul of your feet shall tread, I will give it unto you. 
So when they drew those strikes on his feet and the blood was touching the ground, your dominion, your absolute control of life was also restored. Now, when you see all this, all that we have said about the blood, which, what role did you play there? You play no role. I play no role. Is that correct? But, we are, but it was done for us to enjoy the benefit. So what is that? Favor. Everybody say favor. favor. Say it one more time. Favor. favor. That is favor. You did nothing. I did nothing. I cast out devil today not because of what I did but because of what he did for me. I'm using a power that I pay no price. What is that? Favor. And that favor is what? Unlimited. Come on, tell, us, tell your neighbor, unlimited. unlimited. Say it one more time. Unlimited. Say it one more time. Unlimited. Now that's why God ushered us into the month of unlimited favor. Unlimited favor. And in line with my teaching this morning, I would like to define some words. I would like to define some words. The first one is a word that we have defined and we kept on defining it. It's understanding. Understanding can be defined as mental faculty that is controlled by the mind. Mental faculty that is controlled by the mind. By the mind. Take note of that. We we'll come back to them later. I give you the second one. It is also the power of comprehending. 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 That is a kind of assimilation. Comprehending. Especially the capacity of apprehending general relations of particulars. I will explain that. Let me give that dictation again. It is the power of comprehending, especially the capacity to apprehend. Apprehend general relation of a particular. You look at a particular thing And you are able to assimilate. You are able to come to a point of apprehensions. You are able to, to, to apprehend what this thing is all about. You are able to relate how that thing is functioning. You understand. Listen to this. The reason why it's a mental faculty is that sometimes have you noticed you are talking to someone and he's looking at you and you expected a reply on a particular thing and he said, what are you saying? Listening is not understanding. It is listening that gets to the point of apprehension. You are able to comprehend. And, and you have been talking to, and his eyes are on you but now when you say so, we meet tomorrow. He said, uh-huh. He was listening, he was hearing noise, but he was not comprehending the substance of the noise. Of the noise. That's why understanding constantly gives birth to a lifestyle. When you truly understand or have an understanding of something, you will come out with a lifestyle with that thing. Understanding. 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 I have an understanding of why I should dress well. So I don't need anyone to police me. It's just natural. It's just what? Natural. Everybody say natural. natural. Say it louder. Oh, I know. Number one, I'm a foreigner. 
So I'm vulnerable to police attention. Number two, my voice and my tonation have refused to change. So I don't know after 20 years when I spoke five minutes, they said, you are from Nigeria. They are not prophet, but there is something telling them who I am. So I need to dress well that I don't look in any way like a criminal. You understand what I'm saying? I need to, you know, when, when Kenyans, and not only Kenya, even South Africa, when they see a Nigeria, they see a suspect. Yeah. That's the truth. Nigeria, be careful. Why? We are human beings, Buana. <laughs> be careful. If you say you even go to Nigeria churches, they say, Nigeria churches, you are in trouble. Amen. Amen. So we have, we have to, I, ha, I know I'm a suspect. So I don't have to behave like a suspect. Praise God. I said, praise God. You understand what I'm saying? So I have an understanding. I don't want to die young because I've labored. I need to eat. I need to eat, drink your milk. <laughs> Let me say it to a man before it's misread. Of labor. I don't want to die. It says you will eat the fruit of your labor. So I have understanding to control what goes into my mouth. I don't eat everything. From 40, if you want to live long, you should be mindful that your kidney has been helping and living all manner of rough life. And then as you cross 40, you begin to give him a kind of holiday as to what to process, as to what to eat, as what time to eat. I don't need anybody to beg me not to eat certain things. I have an understanding. So every understanding but a lifestyle. I don't need anyone to plead with me to work hard. No, 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 no. Because I know money answered all things. So I don't need anyone to say, oh, please, pastor, work hard, work hard. No, 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 no. I know I will have too many no answer to question of life if I don't work hard. Do you understand, understand it right now? I, I have an understanding why I cannot beat my wife. All wife bitter, online, actual, hear me. You don't beat that woman because he committed crime. No, no, no. You are not beating that woman because she made a mistake. You are beating that woman because you don't have understanding. A woman that has already given back to you is a dry fish. Beating won't stop the habit. Only love will stop the habit. Did you understand that? Where did you get that one from? I got it from Jesus. For God so loved the war. And he gave, not that he beat. Are we together? Amen. Are we together? He said, husband, love your wife. And it's the same God. Who said we should love the woman? Who described women are? He said they are weaker verses, but with parrot mouth. If you, can, if you are born where, touch me. I will deal with your mother in the grave. It's arousing your anger. It's a weak vessel. So you just look at her and you laugh. And you pick your shirt and walk away. Just leave the house. What you don't hear doesn't influence you. Because if you stand before that woman, hey, hey. You think you can do me anything? There are many men outside there. In fact, there's one who called me the other day. I'm <laughs> <laughs> there's one who has been calling me. Actually, I'm going to see him today. He's not going anywhere, but he has to get at you. <laughs> Nobody has called her. <laughs> Praise God. So what do you do? You just pick your shirt and take a walk in the garden. I meditate on important thing. <laughs> because beating your wife, there is no award for it. So, 
You'll be able to do this when you truly understand. If you don't understand, you become a fool like her. And the Bible says, I'm not a fool according to his folly. Praise God. I said, praise God. I said, praise Jesus. So you have, you have a need of understanding. You have a need. When my children were growing up here, people normally complain that, Papa, you are too hard on these children. I knew I was hard on them. I knew I was hard on delight. I knew I was hard on Papa D. Because I know they will be having strength while my own strength physically will be depleting. Can you beat your son at uh, 40? He will beat you inside that house. So do the beating before he's able to beat. <laughs> Is somebody hearing me? So that when he hear your voice, you know it's psychological. When you are in charge of your child at a, at, a, at a tender age, there is that fear forever. But now you were pampering the children. You were all made together. He talk one, you talk one. And he grew up. So when his own adrenaline brings the energy, <laughs> he will even slap you before you talk. <laughs> he will slap you before you what? Before you talk. You didn't kill that ego when it was a little baby. Spare not the rod, lest you spoil the child. Praise God. So I have an understanding. I want them to give me rest as I'm growing old. So I was hard on them. I was what? Hard on them. None of my children go to school with money. Until you reach secondary school, you will never go to school with money. In my house, never. You want to eat food in school? You cook one in the evening. I lived my life on leftover for many years. As I was, do I look like leftover? No, I'm, lo I'm looking fresh. Eh? Uh -huh. But in our home, you wake up with the leftover. And I actually discover it's sweeter. <laughs> so, so I have many, I have many followers here. How many of you know that leftover is sweeter? Uh, because the, the, the ingredients have united. <laughs> There is a unity of ingredient over the night. It's like, what do you call it? Marination or what do you call it? Uh -huh. So, the, 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 the second day, the ugali is sweeter. So, you want to eat in school. When you are going to sleep, you cook one. And carry it by yourself. Praise God. I said, praise God. That is why today mama can travel as long as she wants. As long as she wants. One thing is sure, I will not be hungry. Even if it remains me and Dockers. For your information, Dockers cook for me. Because the moment you grow up in my house, we put you on table so that your hand can reach the sink. So you can swallow food. Uh -huh. There is nothing like my hand can reach the sink. We put chair for you. So you climb the chair and wash the dishes. I, my ma mama cannot be cooking and you are watching television. No. No, it's not possible. So we're hard. Why were you hard? Were you not wicked? No, I had an understanding. Beauty can get a man. But no man eat beauty. They eat food. They eat what? I know that some of you are already giving me answer. We get a maid. <laughs> huh? We get a maid. I'm not married to be, to be cooked for a man. My friend, who do the cooking, do the servicing? Yeah, I'm telling you. You know, you know, you don't want to hear truth. You just want to hear, yes, I do. Oh. Anybody who cook for your husband have tendency of doing the other service. And since he's not sure of his position, he might do it better than you. Ah, you better hear the message right now. <laughs> okay. You know, when I tell them the truth, they don't listen. They thought I'm joking. We wonder why will a whole man, managing director of a bank, sleeping with the maid? Any man, any woman that have a passage, any woman that have a passage to the stomach of a man will control his heart. Take it to the bank. So, even if your maid is cooking, you better be there. <laughs> Naskia. Be there and do as if you are adding the salt. 
<laughs> oh, you go, you go and cross your leg in the kitchen. Janet, Jane. Okay. The man is ever talking to Jane every day. Go and read Genesis. You will hear. Every day, the woman say, "Be with me, and lie with me. Be with me." And lie with me. They go together. So I hope you are hearing. So there must be an understanding in every young lady. To know how to cook. Otherwise it may be your snare in your marriage. It may be what? Your snare. It will trap that marriage. If not your house help. Excuse me. I'm a man. And I'm very frank with you. If you don't know how to cook your husband will not be eating at home. You say, have you eaten? No, just give me tea because that's what you can <laughs> That's what he's sure. Say, just give me a cup of tea. I'm fine. It's a lie. It's not fine. When he leaves the house, he go to a restaurant. And I don't know why. I'm very raw today. Eh? I don't know why. Every restaurant, they employ beautiful ladies who have special features. <laughs> I won't tell you the future. <laughs> Go and find out. That is your homework. <laughs> they don't exploit any kind of ladies. <laughs> he has to have a good looking and some special future. <laughs> Jones, you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to go far. Amen. <laughs> That's the one they look for. And you don't know a mystery when a man is eating. <laughs> when a man is eating, he's having some conception. <laughs> Judy, I hope you are hearing. <laughs> don't pretend to be in the spirit. But that's why you will bring me to cancel unnecessarily. <laughs> Listen, it's a scripture something. I'm not joking. When a man is eating, there, there is something he's conceptualizing. And he's going to give back to that thing. <laughs> Hello. You have forgotten the cow of Laban. Whatever Jacob put when they are drinking water, that is what they conceive. Check bar. Check restaurant. Check uh, marketers. Wherever they are employing these people, they don't employ ugly. If they don't call you back, <laughs> they have a definition of you that you won't like to hear. That's why they say, we regret. They want magnets. Not hallelujah. <laughs> Are we together? All right, you better catch it. So, understanding the man that you are able to cook. The other day I took the, I took the, the light to do something for me. And he was struggling. And he was struggling. I think I had an injury in my hand. And I asked her to bottom my shirt for me. And she was struggling. And this, the struggle is a result of the long fingernail. I said, those your sit, you better get them cut off. You don't joke at the beginning of your life. When you are successful, you can leave the finger when things can roll on their own. Business is rolling. Marriages is doing fine. You can leave the finger. If you like, leave it like a claw. Like a lion zone. But at the beginning of your life, you are putting artificial nail. Ah. It doesn't work that way. Thank God. It never allowed me to shout it the second time. Got them cut off. The Bible says there is time for everything under the sun. The time to impress is not the time to rest. So have an understanding 
of certainty. Why we lose track now to have saving? It's understanding. I was listening to a clip yesterday. He blesses me. Why do you have saving now? You don't know. You may think you will die on time. And God give you long life. But you know long life without wealth is a punishment. You'll be lonely because the poor have very few friends. That's why you must save. You must have saving. You must have business that brings flow of cash every now and then. Asset is not enough. Define the asset. Land is not good enough. Have a rental houses. At least 30 days, you know something is coming when you are old. I hope you are hearing me. That's why you can't afford to stretch in the house at 40, at 11 o'clock. Mm, 11 o'clock, you are still stretching on the bed. And may you not be married. The woman is in danger. You can't. The first thing you think about is when you are getting old. I advocate medical cover if there is anyone. Because at that age, your health is going to be most challenged. Not because you are sick, because of old age. And there is no cash coming in. Understanding. I can take loan now and buy property. I'm still young. But when I'm 70, no goddamn loan will be seen around me. You know why? There might be no naturally income coming to pay the loan. You have retired. So where do you get money to service the loan? And at that age, even thought can lead to stroke. So, what do you do? You keep them far. Understanding. 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 Every form of understanding creates what? A lifestyle. A lifestyle. I was teaching the other day. There are many places I don't know in the world. I've never been to America. I've never been to Europe. I hardly go on holiday. You know why? There's time for If you can't do vacation, stay, staycation is available. Hmm? Staycation? It is written by English people. There is vacation, there is staycation. Understanding. 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 Very powerful. Let me say this to you before I move to the next point. The life you are living now is not designed by witches. It's designed by your understanding. And the life you desire will require another understanding. Now the next word in our discussion today is the word unlimited. Unlimited means unrestricted. Unconfined. Vast. And of course, infinite. And the next word on our subject is power. What is power? Ability to unite resources or forces for a well-defined outcome. In science, they say power is ability to do work and get result. In the kingdom, we say ability to do work and get the desired result. And finally, on our definitions for this headline, we will not do it again. Other series will just be jumping to the subject. But we need to lay a foundation. And then the next one is favor. 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 Favor can be defined as over generous preferential treatment. Over generous preferential treatment. Over generous. 
preferential treatment. I love women for one thing. They know how to, how to express their favor. Men don't know. You know, men, we are like zombie. You know, zombie, soldier. Attention. That's how men are. But women know how to express their favor. When favor is given to them. You hear them say, wow! Thank you! He's a lion, no? But he's sounding like a frog. Hey! You see, you know why they are screaming? They acknowledge the fact that they don't deserve it. Or they are not expecting it. So, favor is what? Over generous preferential treatment. It's like you, you are flying to Kisumu and somebody who is in charge of that flight happened to see you and know that there are empty seats. Passengers are not full in first class. And they just call you. You are seated in your economy class, belt up, and they just come and say, hey, is Mr. Okwari here? You say, yes. I say, please show yourself in the front. And you get it. They say, no. It's your bag at the back. And they went and picked it and said, you are seated here. Plain is plain. No? I agree with you. But when you sit in first class, you will know that plane is not plane. I, I enjoy one one day by favor of God. I think that was when mama was carrying the pregnancy of Deborah. It was eight month pregnancy and we were to travel. And I remember they even demanded that doctors should sign and do some feeling that mama can travel. And when we got to the Nairobi, God bless uh, one of the members we have in Nairobi. She saw mama and he said, no, 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 no. Pastor, I will be at the airport by myself. God bless her. And then we upgraded. We upgraded automatically. You know, you sleep. You have, you cover yourself. It's full of pleasure. It's like you are, in, in fact, you are in a place better than your home. And especially when you don't pay for it, the memory never leave your brain. <laughs> never leave your brain. Many times I've been upgraded and I know what it means. Because maybe you even struggle to get the economy class money. Now you get there and you are upgraded. I know they don't treat upgraded different from those who pay. In fact, those of us who are upgraded, we enjoy it more than those who pay because I call for everything. I take as many things. <laughs> when God gives you table, eat well. <laughs> Praise God. Now, over generous preferential treatment. Let me show you the second definition. The second definition. The second definition says, it's an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. An act of kindness. An act of kindness beyond what is due or what is usual. Now that's what this man holds for us. In an unlimited volume. Unconfined. Uh, unconfined. Unrestricted. Vast. Over generous preferential treatment. Did you understand all that? So ability to have capacity of mind to comprehend to comprehend that over generous preferential treatment. To have a life that attracts it. And that's what God said. I have given you and I've given you in a volume that is not 
restricted, the volume that is infinite, the volume that is what? Vast, vast, unconfined, unconfined, unconfined. Praise God. I said, praise God. Is somebody getting what we are talking about? Mm. I want you to understand that favor is a tool in the hand of God. Favor is a weapon in the hand of God. Favor is God's strategy. Favor is a weapon. Favor is a weapon. Now, let's move from there. It's also good to let you know that salvation is God's divine strategy to bring his people into the realm of favor. Salvation that connects us to where I started from. I'm sure you will do review for us today. Huh? Get ready. When I just point to you, just get ready. You are looking at me so that I don't call you. I was a student, so I know all those tricks. When you don't know the answer, you just look at the teacher so that I won't call you, so I call you. <laughs> Amen. Now, listen to this. Favor, uh, salvation is God's strategy to bring his people into his favor. So the day you are born again, God initiated you into the realm of his favor. The day you are born again. Let me repeat this. I won't rush you because you have to catch it. Listen to this. Salvation is God's strategy to bring what? God's people into his favor. Let me say this. If our president or the president of any nation for that matter want to enrich his friend, he does not carry money from treasury and give him. Is that true? He can't just say, treasury, give my uncle this. What they do, they use political appointment. How many of you catch it there? They will appoint you minister. You know, listen to me. Appointment in any nation cover the president to enrich whomsoever I want to enrich. Okay, let me give you one in your own country. In, my, in, my, in Nigeria, there are plenty. But let me give the one you understand. Which war school that late Jega Karume went to? War school. You know war? Military school. Huh? Come on, answer me. Is it because your uncle? He's also my friend when he was alive. Which, 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 which police college? Which cadet? Not, I don't even think he attended NY, NY, NYS. I don't think so. But he was a minister of defense. What was the president doing then, Kibaki? We all know Kibaki was his friend from time immemorial. Is that correct? So it was time to reward his friend who have been with him politically. So there is nothing Kenya can do. He appointed him as minister of defense. And if you want to know where money go in any nation, defense is major. Is that correct? Is that correct? So the council empower him to appoint him as minister of defense. The same way, why well, I'm using this law, I want to get you to what you know. The same way, salvation is God's divine strategy to connect his people to his favor. You remember favor? Favor is what? Favor is what? Over generous preferential treatment. 
Mm. I hope you are catching it. So the day you were born again, you were enlisted for God's favor. Come on, I didn't hear the kind of amen I want to hear. So you can now enjoy what? Over generous preferential treatment authorized by God who owns heaven and earth. Is this sinking in? Say, I have. Come on, this, this is your voice. It's too coarse. Can you make it sharp? I have, by redemption, right to enjoy over, over, generous, preferential treatment. Authorized by God. You know what Jesus said to Nicodemus? Except a man be born again, he cannot create a kingdom. Is that what he said? No, he cannot enter. That means the kingdom is there. But when you are born again, you have access to it. You know, one of the definitions of favor is ability to enjoy what you are not qualified for. Ability to enjoy what you are not qualified. What you don't merit. Ability to enjoy it. So, God, salvation, I want to repeat this over and over. Salvation is God's divine strategy to bring his people into his favor. That was why there was a price paid to negotiate for it. Before, because the moment Jesus said it is finished, it means he can do anything at his will to his people. That's why he said, as many that has received me, as many that has what? That have received him, he gave them power to become the son of God. And you know we are son of the devil just a few days ago. But now you are a son of God. What is that? Favor. Come on, say favor. favor. Say it louder. Favor. Say it one more time. Favor. Say it one more time. Favor. And there are evidence. You see, our spirit also bear us witness. See how you speak in tongues. And you are enjoying doing it. So your heart bear you witness that something was given to you. You can now know the difference between right and wrong. You can pray and you even say you enjoy the prayer. It is the favor of God. So salvation is an initiation into the realm of favor. Salvation is an initiation into the realm of favor. What is favor? Grace to enjoy over generous preferential treatment. Over generous preferential treatment. Over generous preferential treatment. Hmm. I don't think so. I pray you begin to see what favor does. Can I hear your loud amen? amen? Oh, if you know what favor does, you will like it. Who love to be treated badly here? Who love to be treated nicely? Let me see your hand. Oh, wow. Wow. One day, Twice a favor was wrought to me in foreign land and I enjoyed it. The last time we went to Tanzania, we were picked from the tarmac. We were picked from where? You know the tarmac is not far if you have been to, to some of the airport. It's not too far. The whole Tanzania who were in the aircraft, they stood still. They stood, they couldn't go because they were wondering because, you know, they are very, 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 very strict. Tanzania is not like Kenya, it's not like Nigeria. They are very strict. All of them that we came together who have been looking down on us, when we got to, when the plane landed, they all stood, carried their handbag watching. And then a very posh car came to the, to the plane. And then picked me and mama. And they were just watching. Now, when we got to where we are to, 
to fill the visa paper. We were taken to the president lounge. The only thing different, there is a chair there, only the president sit on it. But I've already sat on it. <laughs> only the president. We sat there. So even minister who came, who has to use the VIP, they were still watching. You see, there is something about treatment, it distinguishes you. Now that is what God wants for you. And he has it for you unlimited. From there, honor began. Till you walk out of the airport, honor began. Honor began. Another time I was coming to this country and uh, there was still fight between us and some of the ministers that time, being a Nigerian ministry winner. And I was coming here, flying from Ethiopia. And that time there was too many brutality towards us. And then in the morning, Pastor Denka just called me and said, so your flight is today? He said, yes, it's okay. I will send somebody to collect you, to pick you up there. Because chances are they may not even stamp my passport. And then one time, assistant minister, very good man, he was a member of the church, Andrew Legali. How many of you know him? Some of you are too young. Eh? How many of you know Andrew Legali? Huh? He was the chairman of Boundary, this uh, creation of uh, county. And, uh, is it constituency? He was the chairman. He was an assistant minister then. And he came to welcome me. To receive me. Nobody. <laughs> in fact, he said the camp was the first one to pick my passport. I sat in the lounge. That's what God wants for me. He doesn't want me to line up. You know, when you line up, somebody can gas. I sat down quietly. The ADC called the immigration boss. Everything was done nicely. And then we were escorted. We entered his bench. Everybody was just like, who is this? Now, God wants the whole world to look at you and say, who is this? Amen. Who is what? Who is this? That's why God said, you know, there is a scripture we just quote and we think it's a, it's a scripture that is not substantiated by the work of Christ. He said, you are the light of this world. A city that is set on high that cannot be hid. You know what will make you not to go into hiding? The favor of God. Say, I'm a candidate for his favor through salvation. I have unlimited favor. I have what? Unlimited favor. I have unlimited favor. What is favor to do for you is to distinguish you among your equal. It's to bat a difference between the one that serve God and the one that serve him not. Unlimited favor favor. You, some of you, let me begin to provoke you. You will agree with me that you are never sick. How many of you have that, such testimony? The whole year, two years. Are you all sick? La? Let me see. How many of you just notice that you don't fall sick? I'm telling you there are people they go to hospital three times a week and they are your age. But why are you not going? It is just the favor of God. Favor is sweeter than honey. Favor. Sometimes I kneel down, I pray, and I cry. I cry. You know why I cry? The thing I see, I don't know where they come from. There are pastors when they open the Bible, the only thing they can do is to fight. They can't see one revelation. Even if the Bible is written in Luo, you will not see it. You will not see it. But there are others. When we open our mouth, it just flow. Not because we are smarter, but because we are well favored. We are well favored. And what a joy. The day you receive Christ, you were enlisted for his favor. Do you know what Jesus was spending? Let me show you today. Somebody say, what was Jesus spending on the earth? Do you know what Jesus was spending? He was spending the currency of favor. Favor. You want to see that scripture? You would like to see it or you want to go home? Uh, look at Luke chapter 2 verse 52. 
all Jesus was spending in his settler ministry is favor. Hey, anybody you want to copy, find out their favor. Some people you envy, you will envy them till you die. Because they are not using energy. They are using God's favor. <laughs> they are not using energy. You think they are using energy? They are using mouth. No. It is God's favor. Mm? They normally say in my village, the dog that challenged a lion in a race, he sat we go. There are people you can't catch up with them because what they are using is God's favor. Amen. The doing of the law. God is at work on their behalf. God has approved them. <laughs> Sometimes I watch evil ministry. You see some people, they are not saying anything, but there are crowd upon crowd upon crowd. Grace. Favor. 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 The favor of God. The favor of the Lord. I prophesy it over your life. Favor is a terminator of struggle. When it comes on you, you won't know what you are doing, but you are just making it. I'm telling you, you're making it. You stand out among your equal. Even people who are better than you. Favor of God. Are you there? Shall we read that together, everybody? Uh, the way you are reading it, you know, I don't like, keep quiet. And Jesus increased in wisdom and status and in favor with God and man. What does he mean? Men were treating Jesus with what? Over generous, preferential treatment. What was God doing? To distinguish him among all his messengers. God was treating him. Giving him what? Over generous preferential treatment. What Jesus was spending on earth. Was the currency of favor. Favor. is there. And I will be teaching you this month. On how to activate it. Salvation made the provision available. But knowledge activated it. And bring you to your level of unlimited. It is well with your soul. It is well with your soul. Is somebody hearing what I'm thinking this morning? Are you getting it now? Stop envy people. Until you know the source of their favor, don't envy them. Don't envy them. Don't look at somebody and say, hey, if you did this, I can do it. It's a lie. It's a lie. You can be age mate, but you may not be favor mate. You can be age mate with someone, but you may not be grace mate. You know, grace also means favor. The Lord will bless you. Amen. I am here today to give you this knowledge. That look, salvation initiated you into God's favor. And this favor is the one God is counting on. To make you be a light. You become a light. Unstoppable. Amen. On what? Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Things will be happening. And people will think you are the one doing it. No, it's his favor. It's his favor. I told you how a woman in Makilingo gave me, gave us a check of 750,000. The child was sick. They don't understand medically what was wrong with the child. And the school called, called Aga Khan called the parent and said, come and take this child. We don't know what has gone wrong. It was behaving funny. And the woman called and said, he might be online now. He's our secret disciple. <laughs> he said, Pastor Wally, where are you? He called the name of the daughter. He said, my daughter, they say he's, uh, he's behaving funny. And medically, it seemed like no solution. He said, but I remember you were part of how God brought, for to, brought her forth to life. So, where are you? Are you Mombasa? Yes, Mama. I said, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming with her. I said, come. I was driving with Mama, going to office. And then we got there in Makilingo, the open gate for her. As soon as they opened the boot, the, the car, the child jumped out. You remember that staircase? 
before we could order, he jumped out, climbed upstairs, first floor, running around, just playing there. And then on our own, he went to the sanctuary and was playing with the flower on the altar. By the time we catch up with her, the thing that overpower her that was misbehaving have left. I never till today offer one prayer. All I did was just to say, Father, we thank you. I said, where is it? He said, even me, I'm surprised, Pastor. This is not how I was behaving before. I said, okay, God, I've done it. Praise God. It was then the man that said, Pastor Holy, by the way, I've not seen you for long. I said, I wonder, I thought you have moved to Nebuchadnezzar. No, I'm here, I'm around. So what, what are you doing now? I told her what we are doing. It's okay. Why, why, why don't I, you need about seven million. Why don't I give you 10% of it? And he called his lawyer, lawyer Waweru. That property I sold, please write check to Pastor Wally and his ministry. Give them 750,000. So you want to say it's labor now. That's why you are not saying amen. amen. <laughs> Do you earn 750,000 in less than 30 minutes? God didn't bring you here to you to be a laborer of life. Seven hundred and fifty, and in one day or two days, the lawyer brought the check, and that was it. Favor, favor, favor. One day I preached in a such meeting in the same Maclingo. A young lady walked towards me and said, "Papa, there was something I wrote at the back of my diary while you are preaching, and I said when it come to pass, I will bless. I will be a blessing to you." I said, "Okay, what was it that I said?" He repeated. I can't even remember. You know, I talk too much. I said, oh, so you wrote it down? He said, yes. I said, okay, so it has happened. He said, yes. He said, Papa, I made 17 million. So here is your own 1 million. Amen. So what kind of life is that? What can, what, what can, I don't even know. I don't know when he moved, when he arrived. I don't know where the check was paid. Your fasting is for your spirituality. Your fasting is not to labor for things. God's favor is the currency we are expected to spend on earth. Amen. Today, I come to you in the word of the Lord. Oh, yes. An end has come to your struggle. Amen. Things will work for you Amen. that your neighbor will ask, what are you using? Amen. And you will tell them, I'm simply using God's favor. Amen. Is somebody getting blessed already? In closing here, when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, what did God say? He said, and it shall come to pass, when you go, you shall not go empty. For I will give you favor. So God's favor is a recovery mechanism for believer. Amen. Help you to catch up. Is God's spiritual recovery me mechanism. Listen to me. When the favor of God is upon you, men must submit to you. Amen. The favor of the Lord is upon me. I am a winner. So favor is the winning card. Can you imagine? Somebody who has been your slave for many years now tell you he's going and ask you to give him, borrow him thing. And you were giving him and you told him, when are you coming? He said, I'm not coming back. <laughs> Won't you leave somebody? I will never come back. And yet, you gave him more than he needed. From today, everywhere you go, you'll be giving more than you needed. Amen. I say, you shall be giving more than you have a need of. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God. You can go to the same school with someone and you are even the dullest in the class. But you may not end up the dullest. The favor of God can make a difference. The favor of God. A friend of mine, I, I is late in Atlanta. He died two years ago. You know, when we were in school, I was looking onto him. He was more enlightened than me. He was, he was more energetic. I actually follow him everywhere you go, but we are close friends. But over the years, things turned the other way around. He became a drunkard. You think he's the only one who tastes alcohol? I tasted. Look at your neighbor and say, I suspect you also tasted. And maybe you are still tasting, I don't know. 
but I pray you are not. <laughs> you know when you see the way some people walk, you can know they've tasted. <laughs> because the staggering style is still there. It's not the only one who tasted alcohol. I remember we used to sneak out from school to go and drink. So he was not alone. How come he became a victim? How come we walked through the same path and today we are who we are? The favor of God. That's why we must be full of gratitude. You are who you are, not because you are smarter, but because of his favor. Now, so be conscious that that favor is there and begin to exploit. 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 The favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. He's the winning card. He's the hardest currency. You don't need money. You will buy. It is favor. He said, come and buy. You that have no money. What is he talking about? What is the medium of his thing? His favor. I pray for every one of you here. No matter your level now. May the favor of God begin to flow over your life. Amen. Let me hear your resounding amen. amen. In that business you are doing. I bring you face to face. To the currency of God. That makes you to have clients everywhere. That makes you to attract genuine buyers. From now no more struggle for you. Go forth from this service. Bearing upon yourself the seed of salvation, which qualify you for his favor. The favor will begin to turn in your blessing from now. The favor of God will begin to turn in your blessing from now. <laughs> uh, the favor of God. The favor of God. I have one beautiful cloth. He has some shiny decoration black here. If I tell you who gave me, you will not believe. You know who made it for me? It's an ordinary tailor in Nigeria. <laughs> Favor of God is like a perfume. When you are here, it smells around. You know the stronger the perfume, the more the dominion. Favor of God. From now, you will not only be blessed by where you are standing. Yes. Your favor will travel far and near. Amen. And magnetize blessing for you. Amen the favor of God. Rise up on your feet. I don't want to exhaust you here. Just rise up. Hallelujah. The favor of God. The favor of God. On Thursday, we'll be looking deeper on how to activate this favor. We'll be looking deeper and deeper. But I want you to know, it is God corrective measure for correcting a man's life. It is God's tool for reversing injustice. You know, they did a lot of injustice to the children of Israel. And the Bible says, and they left Egypt, harnessed, and spoiled the Egyptians. From today, the favor of God will single you out. Amen. Say louder, amen. amen. How many of you have something to do this week? I want to prophesy. And I don't, how many of you have something cogent you want to do in high places? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hand. You have somewhere you want to knock the door. Father, in the name of Jesus, confirm the teaching of today. That your favor is your secret card for a winning life for everyone that is in you. I decree by that favor, even in death, there were people responsible for the, for the body of Jesus. At no stage of his life, he suffered. I decree in the name of Jesus. At no stage, apart from the crucifixion, that he suffered. He had everything the way he desired. I pray for everyone here. That meeting will be in your favor. Amen. That favor you are asking shall be given. Amen. Men and women will look for you this week. Amen. They will look for you this week. Amen. From now, people will be meditating. What is the good thing they want to do for you? Amen. Your losses will be recovered. Amen. By the favor of God. Amen. The favor of God is God's recovery mechanism. Amen. Whatever you have lost as a result of the fall of Adam Amen. is now hereby proclaimed today Amen. by the favor of salvation. Amen. Begin to enjoy over generous, over generous, 
over generous preferential treatment. No one treats you from today like a trash. At the sound of your voice, come on, gates of kings shall be open to you. At the sight and at the hearing of your knocking, palaces of king shall be open to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, people you don't know will serve you. They will run around for you. They will tell you to say it the way you desire it. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. What a joy in case you are here, you are not born again. The initiation into God's favor is salvation. 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 If you are not born again, this provision is available in Jesus. Waiting for you to receive Christ. I can tell you for free, I'm a product of his favor. I'm a product of his favor. His favor is my defense. And it can also be yours. If you are here, you are not born again, just lift up your hand. I want to pray for you to receive Jesus. Wherever you are, you are not born again. Let me see your hand. You want to give your life to Jesus? If you are there, just lift up your hand. Don't be afraid. You will not be asked to say anything. You need to be born again to activate and take advantage of the initiation that is in salvation. And that will make a big difference in your life. Those of you online, say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I am a sinner. But today, I call upon you, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me my sin and my trespasses. I believe that you are the son of God that you died and rose from the grave for my sake. Thank you, Father. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Brother, sister, you are now saved. I join you to look for a Bible-believing church and begin to go to church. Tell the pastor what you have done online so that they may disciple you. Praise God. I said, praise God. And if you are within the environment of any of our churches, you are also welcome so that we can mentor you and guide you as we also have received guidance from those who have gone ahead of us. God bless you and prosper you. In Jesus' precious name. Have you been blessed today? Have you been blessed today? So a man with favor has a need of knowledge. You now know who you are. But now we begin to explore what is awaiting a man with his favor. Praise God. And how to multiply that favor. Praise God. I said praise God. The Lord is on your side. Please quickly take your seat. It is time to worship God with our substance. If you are paying your tithe, please come forward. If you are paying your tithe, please come forward. Come very fast. Come very, very fast. You are doing the right thing. Be smart. If you want to pay that tithe by pay bill, our pay bill is 140019. And the bank, for those of you who are online right now, the bank details has also been put there. Those of you in the front, lift up that tithe and give thanks to the Almighty God for His grace, for His favor that make you to have a job that has brought income for you. There are thousands and thousands who are looking for the same position God has given you. So you are occupying this by his favor. Give him thanks. Appreciate him. Give him thanks. Glorify him. Acknowledge him as a doer. And let him know, Lord, I've brought the 10%. Open more door to me. I vow to always be faithful in my titan. Thank you, faithful father. In Jesus' precious name. Heavenly Father, reward their obedience and open the windows of heaven Amen. and pour them blessing. Amen. No more dryness in your business. Amen. Door of high places of life are hereby declared open in your favor. Amen. Favor become your currency Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Drop your tithe and go back to your seat 
and knowing fully who you are. Praise God. Those of us giving our offering, package that offering right now. Package your offering. As we get ready to give to the Lord. Lift that offering above your head. Heavenly Father, accept our offering. This is a token of our love. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom. And in return, bless your people. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Let's rise up on our feet and cast our offering. For God loves a cheerful giver. Rise up, rise up. We celebrate choir. Are you ready? The favor of the Lord is upon me. And the Bible knows I am a winner. The favor of the Lord is upon me. And the Bible knows I am a winner. The favor of the Lord is upon me. Favor of the Lord is a come on, give the Lord a dance. If he's there, show it. The favor of the Lord is upon me, and the Bible says I am a winner. The favor of the Lord is upon me, and the Bible says I am a winner. Yeah, I am a winner. I am a winner, and the Bible says I am a winner. It's upon me. The favor of the Lord is upon me, and the devil knows I am a winner. The favor of the Lord is upon me, and the Bible says I am a winner. 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 I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Come on, give a lot of dance. I am a winner. I am a winner. And the Bible says, I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. And the Bible says, I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. And the Bible says, I am a winner. Dance like a winner. Dance like a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. And the Bible says I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. I say I am a winner. I am a winner. And the Bible says I am a winner. The blessing of the Lord is upon me, and the Bible says I am a winner. The favor of the Lord is upon me, 
Amen. Please, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord God as we listen to the following announcements for the week. Empowering your week, voice of restoration, morning glory, live streaming service will hold this week. That is starting tomorrow, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and time is 5.45 a.m. to 6.45 a.m. East African time. Starting point to breakthrough classes will hold after this service and on Saturday at 1 p.m. These classes are designed for new members, those who have just given their lives to Christ, and as many that are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. And uh, uh, we've been instructed today that uh, the classes will not hold here. They will hold in the teens class and the Sunday school classes. So those who are uh, in that category, after this service, you go to teens class and the Sunday school classes. Join us this Thursday for Dominion service, and time is 5.45 p.m. Join us this coming Sunday for a single power pack service, and the time is 7 a.m. East African time. Endeavor to be a blessing to the body of Christ by winning three souls to Christ in this month as a way of fulfilling God's great commission to the church. And Dominion Bookshop still uh, has a 20% discount on books. Go there, get your, 20, uh, get your copy of books and CDs. All our services are to empower you to crowning restoration. Endeavor to attend all and do not forget to share the testimonies of the great acts of God on this mountain and invite your hearers to our services. The following brethren are kindly requested to remain behind for a very brief meeting. After this service, Brother Silas Okwiri, uh, Pastor Torotich, Brother Peter Ngige, Brother Bet, Brother George Ganda, Brother Rogers Mwalumbe, Brother Desmond Ochieng, Brother Jeremiah Owino, Brother Eliakim Atina, Deacon Eugene Mungai, and Brother Chabaga. The Lord God bless you mightily. Hallelujah. Amen. Come and put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. I put some two heart on oval for some time now. But uh, I think they should get ready for next Sunday. Praise God. See, one is already happy. He's, he's very happy. Do you are doing book review for us next Sunday. It's a service review next Sunday for today's service. Praise God. As you go, the Lord go with you. Wherever you find yourself, know what is upon you. Amen. The favor of God is upon you. Amen. But the work on his death at Calvary, the favor of God yes, was secure for you. Amen. You receive it the day you confess him. Amen. That's why he gave you power to become who you are not. Amen. Praise God. Rise up on your feet and give thanks to God. For today's service, give him grace, give him glory, give him adoration. Father, Lord, thank you. We appreciate you. We glorify you. We exalt you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name. I admonish you, month of April and month of May are very crucial for us this year. We are digging the foundation. We are trying to put knowledge that are relevant into our heart before we begin to call for rising. There has to be taken root downward in order to bear fruit upward. So Thursday service is going to be powerful. It's going to be a service of its own kind. Make sure you are in attendance. As you go, heaven goes with you. Look at your neighbor and give him the goodness. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. The Lord God is our son and our shield. He will give us 
No good thing will leave you from us as you walk uprightly. We are restored to power, to dominion, to honor. The Lord God is our son. It is our year. Are you pursuing any truth? Let's start again. It is my year of crowning restoration. I have overtaken them already without failing. I'm recovering all. Amen. So we stretch forth our hand. Let's start in prayer and begin to pray for the school that are resuming want to pray to God that Lord it will not be a regretful uh, steps we ask Lord every school by the dominion feet we have as we step into those premises to hand over our children we declare that no evil shall befall them amen. can I hear your last sound in amen? amen at the gate of every school every spirit of COVID die amen. in the name of Jesus Christ I hereby bless this oil in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name. Go meet them on the way. Amen. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The Lord is on your side. No child will catch COVID. I can't hear your amen. As you walk into the gate of any school, if there is anointing oil in your pocket, with the wisdom of God, touch it on the ground. And say, I take dominion of kingdom of God for this school. No one will catch COVID. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. so shall it be. God bless you. Have a wonderful uh, Sunday and a prosperous week.